Wow, so I just saw the semifinal one advancers, the ones that qualified, and I've got to stroke my own ego here. I got 9 out of 10 correct. Well, uh, I expected 8 that I thought were for sure. The other two I thought were very up in the air, but I'm pretty happy. The qualifiers were Moldova, Azerbaijan, Greece, Sweden, Portugal, Poland, Armenia, Australia, Cyprus, and Belgium. Now, the one I got wrong was Cyprus, and I had Finland in there instead. I am very disappointed that Finland didn't make it. Uh, it was a song that made me tear up, and one of the best performances on the night, in my opinion, but it just didn't resonate with enough people. But this is going to be a classic. I'm going to download it, and I'm going to remember this favorably when I make a video at the end of Eurovision about the biggest sad moments of the contest, I guess. Uh, Finland should be at the top. I love the song. It was absolutely amazing. And it's just a shame that Finland didn't qualify, but I'm happy that I got 9 out of 10 right. It's not as good as last year where I got them all right. But uh, semifinal 2 is going to be a whole lot harder to predict, so we'll see if my picks hold up there. Well, so I wanted to do a review video. These are my notes that I wrote down at the middle of the contest. During the contest, I'd listen to the song, take the picture with the screenshot, and then uh, write down some notes here and there for the entire contest. So just what I was fe feeling and thinking for each act. So this is just going to be a review reaction of Semi-Final 1. So to start, Sweden performed first, and the notes I made were the staging is nice, I do like the graphics, the dancers seem a bit out of sync, I don't like this song at all, as I've said multiple times, and Robin's voice leaves a lot to be desired, as it was very off at many points. I am no longer worried about this winning the contest, as the crowd reaction did not reflect a winner. It's a bit monotonous, and it doesn't have that big moment. It is a radio-friendly song that does not connect as well live, but a different qualifier. So, Georgia was next. Her voice was monstrous and powerful. I still dislike the song emphatically, but the stage show was on and the crowd seemed pleased. I feel it could qualify as the song has big moments. Australia? His voice was on point. He sounded great live. I worry that he put the crowd to sleep a little bit. There wasn't a lot of energy during the song. But I spoke too soon because when he got to the high part of Don't Come Easy in the last chorus, his voice definitely faltered. And he seemed to be trying to do some kind of vocal trick that I had not previously heard. Is he pulling in Albania here to make his song more exciting? Georgia and Sweden were better so far, even if I hate saying that. Albania was next. I don't love the running order here at all. These songs together is kind of torturous, and I feel kind of sleepy to start the competition. She sounds better here than she sounded with the jury votes. It doesn't feel like she was reaching so much as she was yesterday. It's still shouty at points and hard to listen to, but I feel it was a bit of an improvement here. The sci-fi wedding dress is a bit strange. So then Belgium. This gave me a great feeling listening. The crowd seemed very into it, even clapping with the beat at the beginning. And when she raised her arms, there were cheers. She took a song that could have been monotonous and made it emotional and really connected. I enjoyed it, and I think she sounded great. The staging looks better here, my favorite performance thus far in the competition. I feel that my pick for Belgium to advance is safe. Montenegro. This is obviously a crowd favorite. It has gotten the most cheer so far, and not even all the way through the first chorus. It's colorful. It's crazy. It's weird. It's Slavko. It has brought out the most enthusiasm from the fans so far. It could possibly qualify. It's woken the crowd up after a slow start. It's not my favorite act, but Slavko has been the most entertaining by far. 
he is a crowd pleaser and the crowd reacts strongly to this. I apologize for the bad audio. I had the Windows Movie Maker open, so unfortunately the first five minutes were probably kind of painful to listen to. But I'm going to keep trucking ahead here. Finland was next. That was the best I've ever heard the song. It was so emotional and deep. It actually brought tears to my eyes. This is where the song belongs, on the big stage. It was beautiful. It was the best act of the night so far. This will be hard to beat. It's something about her voice and their connection musically. It is a magical experience and so powerful live. The staging was perfect to create the atmosphere that they desire. Azerbaijan. This was on fire. A lot of flaws have been ironed out. There were a few minor vocal issues, but overall she sounded great. This is how to do a stage show. It kept you pulled in and engaged. It is a great overall performance, and she should have no problem qualifying. Portugal. This screams winner. The crowd was very supportive. He sounded perfect. It is such an intimate stage on that island. The focus is on Salvador and his voice. Not on lights, not on gimmicks. The gimmick is him, and he is a winner. He won the hearts of the people. Huge eruption of applause at the end. This is qualifying, and qualifying big. I love this song and performance. It's amazing. Greece. The stage show is amazing. The mix with the backing vocalists? Well, not so much. She has a great voice for about 90% of the song. I don't know if she can't hit the high notes or if she is sick, but I don't know why she doesn't do those herself. Overall, I like it and the crowd seem to enjoy it too. I think it should qualify. Poland. She sounded incredible. The song sounded great. I couldn't tell with the crowd, maybe they didn't know how to feel, but they were paying attention and drawn in. Vocally, she was on point. A bit more growly or gravelly than I expected, but not unpleasant. A huge last note, and very good applause. Not thunderous, but good. A solid performance overall, and one that I really enjoyed. Moldova. Moldova was slick, cool, and a breath of fresh air in a contest of ballads. This is qualifying. If it isn't, that is a crime. The crowd cheered every time the sax guy plays. There was a lot of clapping and singing along to the song. I think they won the crowd. Epic sax guy plays in front of the crowd during the interviews. Epic sax guy forever! May have won them a few votes. <laughs> Iceland. Her voice was on. She has a great voice and can sing, sing live. The staging does not fit the vulnerability the song talks about, and I feel it fails to connect overall with the audience. It was a respectable performance that received good feedback from the crowd, though the crowd felt dead for a lot of the song. Czech Republic? This was an incredible and emotional performance. It sounded amazing live, and she just may be a fringe contender to qualify. There's no way this is last place. It was very enjoyable to listen to, and I liked it a lot. The staging was very nice, simple, but you only need Martina to make a song special. If anything, this won the heart of me, where previously I'd been undecided. Cyprus. I really enjoyed his voice. I think he has a fantastic live voice. The performance was cool and slick. The choreography was a little off as Hovig was missing his marks and a bit off from his dancers. It was seen quite favorably by the audience as it got a, quite a strong applause at the end. It was great, but will it be enough to qualify? I think it could. Armenia. This is how you make staging important to people who don't care about staging so much, like myself. I love this. It sounds great. It looks great. It's engaging. It pulls you in. Wow, what a performance. And I think the crowd loved it too. To me, to win this semifinal, it is a two-horse race between Portugal and Armenia. 
Slovenia. Vocally, he was incredible. I don't love the song, but it sounded great. What is with the hair and the clothes? He had a mohawk of sorts in the past. Now he is dressing and looking like a grandpa. Minus the suit. That looks cool enough. It's much more powerful than as a studio song. I like the live version. I'm surprised in a good way by this. Moderate applause at the end. But I liked it, to be honest. I don't think it will qualify. Latvia. I really enjoyed Latvia. It is in a favorable position as the last to go to make a lasting impression. It was colorful, engaging. I felt the vocals were pretty good. The main strike against the song will be the jury vote, but I think the crowd was very happy with the song. It got a large applause. The, the package is an experience, not just a song. So that was my overall review. I reviewed each act and I just jotted some notes as I could. I tried to pay more attention to the songs than think of what to write, but I tried to do it evenly. It was a great start. I think semifinal two is just going to be insane. I can't even describe as I'm sitting there and they're reading the qualifiers how nervous I get because A, I like to be right, and B, it's just, I, I love that atmosphere. It's like going on a roller coaster if you've been on a roller coaster as you're going down that's the feeling in my stomach as they're reading these qualifiers it's just incredible but congratulations to moldova azerbaijan greece sweden portugal poland armenia australia cyprus and belgium you will be in the finals we'll see you again on saturday Thank you for watching my review of Semifinal 1. I'm going to do this for Semifinal 2 as well. And I'm going to have Eurovision videos all week and even after Eurovision as I will re-rank my songs and based on live performances. I'll probably also make a ranking video of the performances from Semifinal 1, so look for that. Thank you for your support and Lethargic Sloth, out.